one. When you go in there, you gotta make an ugly face. Ah! Ah! Where is it at? 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 Step number two. You gotta keep making ugly faces, because when you keep making ugly faces... So today, guys, we have a very interesting video. If you can't tell by the title, if you can't tell by the first little 10 seconds of this video, if you couldn't even tell by the thumbnail today, we have someone making content out of being a thief. Now, I'm not going to dive too deep into this, because I'm trying to get views just like everybody else on this platform. I'm trying to entertain, get a fan base, you know, shebang, shabow, we all love making content. But this right here isn't content. This is just being a thief. Now, it's this whole side of YouTube that I try my best to stay away from. It's why I haven't made a video on any YouTube pranksters or anything like that because I decided that I'm not going to use my little platform to boost up any nonsense. But today, I've been forced to do exactly that. Cameras won't get the face recognition. Too bad. Step number three, you always have a cameraman with you because every time you have a cameraman, they're going to think it's just a prank. You always got to make sure your cameraman is white. You feel my brother? You took the time out of your day, out of the people in the stores, day, out of your cameraman's day to actually rob a store and try and make content out of it. I think YouTube pranksters, outside of people like Gideon and Canel Joseph, are some of the most low down, bored, uncreative people in this world. You are literally benefiting from causing havoc in everybody else's life. And you call that content. You know, it was once upon a time before I did commentary content where I considered doing stuff like this. And I just didn't have the heart in me to do it. I'm not even that type of person to really care about strangers. When I go out, all my friends will tell you that I'm the most embarrassing, unbearable person to go out with. But I really think it's levels to this shit. And this right here, I really feel like everybody that's a YouTube prankster or any just a prankster in general. I have a deep hatred towards you. Because I feel like you're trying to capitalize off everybody else's suffering from you furthermore than that i think that a lot of y'all are untalented y'all have no skill and y'all are just doing this for money y'all are trying to monetize being a dickhead in public and i feel like after the age of like 16 it's not funny or cool no more now okay at 14 15 or 16 i'm fucking around in public i'm all for it this man is he looks grown i'm not saying i get the most views in the world for doing half the shit i do i'm really just sitting here judging and criticizing people even though I try my best not to judge and criticize people, you are doing this. You are risking your life for not even 17,000 subscribers, not even 10,000 views. I mean, I'm, I'm at like a thousand subs. I'm no one famous. I'm no one special. But if I'm going to risk my life, my livelihood, and all that other shit, it's going to be for a huge audience. It's not working. Not only did that video not work, you're not getting any views for doing the shit that you're doing, bro. All these public pranks and you're not even pulling 10,000 views a video? Ask yourself if this is worth it because you're risking your life and going to jail to fuck with people. I think it comes to a level where eventually you need to realize that what you're doing isn't working. Now again, he's obviously monetized. Shout out to him. Not easy to do. He's obviously pulled 17,000 subs. Shout out to him. But like I said before, you're risking a lot for a very small amount of money in a small fan base due to the fact that a lot of the shit that you're doing isn't funny. You're just fucking with people. If you're going to fuck with people, at least let it be funny. It's not even funny what you're doing. You're just being a bother. Now, like what Canel Joseph and Gideon has done, somewhat funny. I'm not even too high on them because I think to an extent, I don't think anybody should be capitalizing on fucking with people. We're too old. Again, if you're a prankster that's like 14, 15, 16, it's cool because like it's annoying, but you don't know it's annoying yet because yeah, you're a kid. This shit ain't working. Come on, come on, you get it in, idiot. Hey, right. let's go, let's go. Yo, we can't do this again, bro. We, we did it right next to a cop. All right, y'all, so it's not going to happen many times. We got an officer right there in front of us. We in Jersey City right now, so you always got to look friendly with the officers. If they see that you're dancing, they're definitely going to that gas station. As you guys seen on the last clip, it's not going to go like that all the time. You feel me? Notice I ain't even had to say, put your hands up. They thought it was all a prank. And I literally took all this to teach you guys how to rob a gas station with the cops being involved. So don't run this now, because if you run, you might actually get shot. I'm showing you guys how to get everything for free at every single store. You know, even the idea of entering a store with a ski mask on, whether that's a fake or real gun in front of a cop, I think it's very irresponsible to put out to the public, especially as a black man coming from another black man. 
I think a big part of this whole influence culture that comes with Frank series is that a lot of the time your audience is kids because those are the people that think that what you're doing is funny. So the idea of a kid doing this in the wrong neighborhood that so happens to be black with a fake or real gun and, and like, it just contributes to hate crimes. Now, I'm not saying that somebody followed him and went along and, you know, ended up getting shot or anything, but why even take the risk of anybody doing that in the future? Why take the risk of somebody watching this in a year? Some random 12-year-old boy watching this and going out and trying what you're doing and dying. Huh? I'm not here. He's obviously not trying to get brand deals or anything, so I don't even know why I'm trying to put that type of advice in the air. I'm just coming from a content creator perspective and thinking about this. I'm thinking about it. I'm also sitting here thinking from a content creator perspective, like the risk versus reward in this isn't worth it. It's a cop in front of you and you're going to put stuff in your bag. Why potentially, you know, like put yourself in harm's way with a white cop when you're black with a ski mask? Or like, why even risk going to jail for a minor theft? A minor theft? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? You or your cameraman going to jail so you can get seven thousand views? Oh, hey there, man! You caught me in the middle of a crime scene. I love you, yo. I gotta get shot every single court. Gotta get shot every single court. Shot every single court. You're not gonna arrest me if I walk out with this, right? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll pay for it. So, man, can you put that back, please? Yeah, put it back. Put it back, please? Oh, yeah, I'm buying it. I'm buying it, buddy. Oh, okay, go ahead. I'm buying Bye. it, buddy. Bye. How long are you gonna stay out here? Damn. I know there's cops here, y'all. Don't charge me for it. Act like you charged me for it. I'm not playing with you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. No, he's a buddy. So, all right, y'all. So, we're gonna run out the store, and when we run out the store, the cops is gonna think that we stole something. So, that means they're gonna follow us. When they follow us, you get a second partner to come in to actually rob the store. This isn't content. You're just a grown ass man that's bored. We're really coming to a place where nobody wants to go to college or get a job, but would rather spend their days playing fucking cops outside of gas stations. That poor Arabic man didn't want no trouble with the police. He's probably scared of cops like most minorities is to some degree. Most or fearful to even get into a confrontation with the cop. Why put yourself or anyone else in a situation like this? It's not content, bro. Go to school. Huh? What's up, man? Again, video? What? Again, video? What? The cops? Look, I just checked outside. The cops is not here. Yeah. It's hey, not buddy, bad. stay out of this, buddy. Stay out of this. Put it back, man. Huh? Put it back. Come on, but chill, bro. Chill, bro. Yo, chill, dude. No, no, man. Yo, chill, no, bro. No, chill. No, man. chill, dude. Yo, chill. Chill. Come on, bro. Yo. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, relax, bro. Chill, back, bro. Man. Chill, bro. Chill, dude. Back, man. No, chill, bro. Bro. I, I, that's it. That's bro, it. That's it. That's, it. that's the only thing that's in it. That's, bro, that's, bro, but that's man. the only thing that's in it. I'm still not entertained by this. I'm actually just kind of annoyed. I feel for the worker. He's just trying to work his normal nine to five or run his own gas station. And he has to deal with shit like this. Again, I don't want to sound like a, I don't want to beat a dead horse or sound like a broken record here, but like, I think, I think that eventually kids won't even find some shit like this funny. It got me questioning his audience. I'm not going to lie to you. If you are on this platform and you think shit like this is entertaining, bro, you just need to grow up. I'm kind of cringing even watching this, bro. You sat down and edited this. You paid a cameraman potentially or asked your friend to record this and nobody's pulling you to the side saying, hey, bro, this ain't funny. It's not cool. You can really get hurt doing this. Yo, yo, sometimes, not every time it's gonna work, y'all. But you gotta yo, fight for what you on. believe in. No, chill, dude, chill, dude. Chill, chill, I don't got nothing else. I don't got nothing else, dude. And then you I'm slam him against the man. wall. Up, chill, dude, chill, dude. And hey, buddy, help me out. Are oh, you just looking? Buddy, help me out, buddy. You're a buddy. Chill, dude. Chill, dude. Chill, but I, but chill, I, but. Physical assault is when you make contact with another person. Even though he's the one that grabbed it, I kind of resist it. This like my worst op, Burger King. I hate that guy. He's the buddies of them all. Matter of fact, you guys are the most buddies in him. But also, this like what I said about the physical assault. But if you like it, it's sexual assault. You still get charged for it, and you can do. I'm not watching it anymore. To break it easy, to make this shit easier for y'all, he didn't do anything in the rest of the video, but continue to just go around fucking with people pretending to rob stores with the girly gun. My takeaway from all of this is if you want to make content, find a niche or do something that you actually enjoy and not and do not try to appease 
a bunch of fucking idiots because it won't work. You are not Gideon. You are not Canel Joseph. You are not Danny Duncan. You are none of these lifestyle prankster YouTubers. Y'all need to just go to school or something. We need doctors. We need plumbers. We need lawyers. We need fucking people at McDonald's. We need people to do actual jobs. This ain't gonna work, bro. It's not funny. You're just annoying people. You're just annoying me at that. So I'm gonna do something I haven't done in a while, y'all. This is gonna big fat dislike. Yes, I'm a hater. I did it. Don't shoot me. I know. Kind of fucked up. But I did it. I love y'all more than I love myself. Um, hit the subscribe button if you're new. And I'm out. Peace.